Welcome to HTML5 Tutorial 6, Tables and Lists. In this video, we'll be looking at how to implement tables on our web page, as well as how to create neatly formed ordered and unordered lists. Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. Tables are a way of displaying data in a friendly and correlative way. In HTML, tables take a little practice to get just right. The basic stock standard tables that HTML allows us to create are not very visually appealing as a table you might find in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. Tables in HTML follow a tree-like pattern. If you're unfamiliar with what a tree data structure looks like, don't worry as you can still understand what's going on when we look at this tag pattern. Looking at this table structure in HTML code, we can see a tabulated style structure. Tables do not need to be laid out like this, however it does make it easier to read. We have the table tag, which tells the browser a table is about to begin. We then use the tr tag, which stands for table row. Inside the table row tag, we specify the data for each cell with the td tag, which stands for ta table data. We can use as many td tags as we need, and it will keep adding as many columns or cells as needed. After we put the table data in, we close off the row with the closing tr tag, and we do this for each row in our table. We then close off our table with the closing table tag. Ok, so let's add a small table to our existing index.html document we've been working on. Our table will hold a first name, a last name and a favourite food. Ok, so we'll come across to our folder here, open up our index.html in Notepad++, and we'll create a table, we'll do it before our images section. So we'll create another h2, and we'll give it the, uh, the heading a table. And we'll slash h2 and close that off. Now let's create our table. So we're going to use the table tag. Now we're going to go down a row, we'll go down another row, and we'll close off our table so we don't forget about it later. And then we're going to tab in inside our table. We're going to create a tr tag for our table row. And then we'll clo create our closing tr tag as well. And we'll go back up and tab in. And Inside our table row, we're going to create our table data for our first row. So we'll do td for our table data. And we'll do our first table data will be the first name Jeff. And then we'll close off our table data with closing td tag. Then we'll open up another td tag. And this will be our last name. So we'll do Jefferson, so Jeff Jefferson slash td. And then we'll do his favorite food. So open td again and we'll do his favorite food is pizza and then we'll close off our td tags okay now we can leave our table row now and we're going to create another table row so tr and we'll create our subsequent closing table row okay now let's put in our table data so td and we'll do amy this time closing td opening td and her last name can be Anderson, close TD, and open TD again, and favorite food can be sushi, and close TD. Okay, so we've got our table structure here. So it's a very basic table at the moment. It has two rows and three columns. All right, so if we save this, control S, and we come over to our folder. We can open up our index.html, and as we can see, we've got this table. So we've got a table, and we've got this really simple table that's uh, uh, three three columns, two rows. So we've got first names, last names, and favorite foods. All right, cool. We can also add headers to our table. These headers are column names and are important because they give meaning to the column's data. The table header follows the same row structure as the first row in our table. However, instead of using the td tag, we use the th tag, which stands for table header. Ok, our table is currently a little vague, so let's add a header row for our table with the information first name, last name, and favorite food. Alright, so we'll come back over to our code, and at the top of our table, we're going to insert a new table row, so tr, and our closing tr. So we're adding a row at the top, and this row is going to have th's for table headers instead of td. So th, and we'll do first 
name closing th and then th open tag last name closing th open th and favorite food closing th all right now we can save this and we can uh, jump over to our browser and have a look so we'll refresh and as you can see we've got first name last name favorite food and it's in bold cool so currently our table just looks like words separated separated out evenly but we can make our table look more table like by adding a border we can add a basic border by setting the border attribute of the table tag to one this border won't look very nice, but thankfully we can make it look nicer by using CSS. Once again, CSS will be covered in a separate series. Okay, so let's add a border uh, to our table and see how it looks. So we'll come back over to our code. And in our table tag, we're going to set the attribute border equals open quotes one. So we're going to turn the border on. Okay. So we can have a look at this now. So if we go over to our page and we see it's got a border on it now. So it's got this really vague border around. It doesn't look very nice, but you know, it gets the job done. So this isn't very exciting. So let's set up a CSS border, uh, set up the CSS border properties. So we come back over to our code and we go up to our style. Inside of our style, we can set up the uh, table tag. So table. And we can also set up the table heading and the table data uh, tags as well. If we just do comma, th, comma, td. And this will cover our table, table headings, and the tab table data. Now we'll use our opening curly brackets. And we're going to go down a line and tab in. Okay. Because we're going to set up multiple uh, different styles for these tags, we're going to do a couple of lines of code. So we're going to do the border colon is one pixel so one px space it's going to be solid space and we're going to make it black and we're going to semicolon to end this line go down to the next one and we're going to do border dash collapse and colon and we're going to tell it to collapse and semicolon. We'll go down one more line, decrement the tab, and do our closing curly brace. All right, so we've got the border, which is gonna set the border to one pixel wide. It's gonna be solid line, not dashed, and it's gonna be black. And we're gonna collapse the borders from the thick borders they are now into the one pixel wide borders. All right, so we can save this, and now we can have a look at our style and it'll take its effect when we refresh the page. And as you can see, it's a one, one wide thick uh, solid line border around the whole table, around the table data, and around the table headings as well. Cool. HTML allows us to create lists for our web pages. Lists are very useful tools for displaying information or organizing topics. Luckily, lists are quite simple to put together with only a couple of intuitive tags, unlike our table earlier. HTML5 supports ordered, unordered, and description lists. The syntax we use for creating lists goes like this. On the left, we have the ordered list. The ordered list starts with the OL tag, which stands for, yep, you guessed it, ordered list. We then define each item in the list using the LI tag, which stands for list item. After we are done with our list, we close it off with the OL tag. On the right, we have the unordered list, which opens the, with the UL tag, which as you can guess, stands for unordered list. Then just like our ordered list, we specify each item in our list with the LI tag. Then we close off the uh, list with the closing UL tag. Okay, let's add a small unordered list of types of pets to our index.html. Okay, so we'll come over to our code. And we'll create another section and we'll do this one underneath our, our table. So under our table section, we're going to add in another section, which is going to be h2 and we'll call it uh, a list. 
So there'll be a list section, H2. Now inside our list, we're going to create an unordered list. So we'll do UL, and then we'll tab in on the next line. Actually, before we do that, we'll create our closing tag so we don't forget it. And we'll do our list items. So allied, open up our list, uh, our list item, and we'll do a cat first, and then we'll do our slash closing li. And then we'll do another list item and we'll do a dog slash li. Close off the li tag. Open up our li tag again. And we'll do a frog this time. And we'll obviously again close our list item. And we'll open up one more list item and we'll do a mouse. And we'll slash close this last list item as well. Alright, so we've got our unordered list here. And we can save this and jump over to our web page and we can see we've got this list uh, which is our cat, our dog, our frog and our mouse and they've each been put with a dot next to them which is for an unordered list. Now we can quickly jump over and we can change this OL, uh, UL to an OL and we can see what it looks like as an ordered list. So we come back over here and we refresh we get one, two, three, four instead of the dots. Cool. This concludes our tutorial on tables and lists. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. The next topic we'll be looking at is forms and iframes. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.